Let's begin with regression analysis. Understanding regression analysis. <clears throat> what is regression analysis? First and foremost, it is a statistical tool. What is it used for students? What does regression analysis do? It tells us the strength and the direction. What do you mean by strength? Is it strong or weak? Yes or no? Strength and direction. Direction means up or down, plus or minus, positive or negative. The strength and the direction of the relationship between two or more variables. For example, if there is a change in the interest rates, would there be a change in the bond portfolio? Bonds are based on interest rates, right? I mean, the, 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 the incomes from a bond portfolio is from interest rates. So what is the effect of a change in interest in the bond portfolio? When interest rates go up, does the port bond, bond portfolio increase? Or does it decrease? <clears throat> yes or no? If there is a change in advertising costs, does it affect the sales? Does it improve the sales in the next quarter, in the next year? What is the effect of advertising costs on sales? Yes or no? What is the effect on profits? What are the factors which influence profits? Why do profits fluctuate? Is it the change in uh, sales? Is it the unit sold? Is it the pricing? Is it the cost? Is it a particular cost? Is it the material cost which is fluctuating? What is it? What causes profits to fluctuate? So what does regression analysis do? It's a tool which is used to analyze the strength and the direction of the relationship between two or more variables. Here the variables were interest in the bond portfolio or advertising cost and sales. <clears throat> Say x-axis represents the independent variable and y-axis represents the dependent variable. Do you understand the x-axis and y-axis? I hope all of you have an idea about the graph students. Otherwise, you need to brush up on how to use a graph, how to read a graph. Normally, in a graph, you have a horizontal axis like this called the x-axis and you have a vertical axis like this called the y-axis. Okay, this point is zero and the values here are positive on the right side of the x-axis just as these would be negative. Now I have put 1, 2, 3, 4. The values could be anything. It could be 1000, 2000 or 50, 100, 150, whatever. But basically this is zero. Anything to the right side of this zero, this would be positive and to the left side, would be negative values. <clears throat> Similarly, this is the y-axis. This is 0. These are positive values here. 1, <coughs> 2, 3, 4 and negative down below. So this and only this is what is called our positive quadrant. Positive quadrant. <coughs> okay. So what they are saying is x-axis will represent the independent variable while the y-axis would be the dependent variable. How much change in sales due to a change in advertising? So this is my independent variable and sales is going to change based on the change in advertising. Also, I'm thinking I'm trying to build a relationship. Yes or no? So <clears throat> sales is dependent on advertising. Sales is the dependent variable on the y-axis. So this axis, on this axis, we shall represent sales, sales, and on this axis, that is the x-axis, we shall represent the advertising costs. Followed. Advertising cost is the independent variable. We are trying to find out the more we spend on advertising, what is the effect on the sale. Sales is dependent on advertising. X-axis, independent variable. Y-axis, dependent variable. Okay, so it's by drawing this graph that we are first going to understand regression analysis. <clears throat> Here we are. What is the relation, correlation between the two? This is a table which says even if advertising is zero, even if you don't advertise, there is a certain minimum market. Maybe this is $50,000. We are assuming these values are in dollars. Okay, 50000 
then by every two thousand dollars that the advertising cost increase here fifty thousand is expected to become hundred thousand four thousand once it again increases by two thousand this will become one fifty thousand if you notice notice every time with a two thousand increase change in advertising cost sales seem to be increasing by extra exactly fifty thousand I'm not saying this is practical or this is exactly what has happened, but we are just assuming one simplistic, one simplistic situation in order to understand the concept of uh, regression correlation, which is what it deals with, <coughs> which is what regression analysis deals with. Do you understand, students? So, in this case, there is a perfect correlation that is with each change of two thousand dollars in advertising sales is increasing by by exactly fifty thousand so there is a correlation and it is a positive correlation in the sense when advertising goes up sales is also going going up and it goes up proportionately proportionately so normally in such a situation we say the correlation is one <coughs> An equation for this line, okay, an equation for this line is as uh, uh, below, y is equal to a plus bx, where y is the dependent variable, so in this case sales, a is the value of x, when y is equal to 0 and b is the slope of the regression line. Now students, let me just go back once. <coughs> See the, the, the advantage, supposed advantage of drawing this is that if my, let me say, if my cost is $5,000 in advertising, advertising, then I put this line here, I come here to this part, right? <clears throat> $5,000 and I say maybe Maybe it will be something like this. The relation would be, I can say, I expect, I predict. So if I spend 5000 if I spend uh, $5,000 here, I expect my sales to be 175000 This is how I'm going to use the graph. So while this is, uh, this, this is a more simple approach, uh, we will anyway discuss the formula, the theory, so that when even if it is not so perfectly correlated, we can solve and understand the correlation. <coughs> now look at this. <coughs> Let us understand the relation with an equation. The simple regression equation is y is equal to a plus bx, where y is the dependent variable. In our case, it is sales, right? We are talking of sales here. And a a is equal to the value of y when x is equal to 0. So, no advertising cost also. It is 50,000. In our example, this is equal to 50,000. Yes or no? The value of y when x is equal to 0. And b is supposed to be the slope of this regression line. The slope. What is the slope? Slope means change in the dependent variable due to one unit change in the independent variable. What is the change in, what is your dependent variable? Sale. Yes or no? Sales is dependent on advertising. What is the change in sale due to one dollar change in advertising expense? <clears throat> so if you take that, there is a change of 50,000 for every 2,000 change. So can I say, can I say that there is a change of $25 for every $1 change in advertising expense. <clears throat> okay. So, y is equal to a plus bx. This, of course, students, whatever letters you use, this you should just be able to define correctly. You should understand what is what. That's all. Y is the, in this case, y is the dependent variable. <coughs> variable x is the independent variable b is the slope of the line the beta it is called in this case it is 25 25 and a is what it is what is called the y intercept the value of y when x is equal to 0 x is 0 y is 50000 
Yes, yeah, so no, this is how you put the plots. I hope you are clear about the plots also. 2,000, 1 lakh, 2,000, this is 1 lakh, right? We put a point here, 2,000, we go up, 1, this is here. So this is a point here. This is a point here. This is how we plot and draw the line. I hope you are clear with this. If it's 4,000, 4,000 on the x-axis, right? 4,000, 150,000, <coughs> 4,000. 150,000 <clears throat> okay and so on and so forth like these the lines are plotted 18,000 18,000 is 500,000 maybe it's here 500,000 18,000 these are all plots and these lines are drawn and then the plots are plotted these points are plotted in this manner and a, a line has used to join them. Of course, this has happened because exactly the, the slope is supposedly 1. We will come to that slowly. But have you understood what this means? This means that when the advertisement expenditure is, is what is 5 thousand dollars y is equal to a plus bx if i want to find out y that is i want to find out the sales instead of the graph if i use this also i could find out a is fifty thousand that's the value of y the value the sales when there is no advertisement expenditure fifty thousand plus bx b is twenty five as has been given here or fifty thousand by two thousand into into what bx what is x Advertisement expenditure is 5,000. X is advertisement expenditure and I want to find out the sales when advertisement expenditure is 5,000. Clear? Now you solve this, solve this and you get 175,000. <clears> and you get 175,000. <clears throat> With the clear students. So, I, the, through the line, you draw a line like this and then we say if it is 9,000, what would the sales be? If it is 17,000, what do you expect the sales to be? It may not be exactly correct, but this is a line which more or less, more or less accurately tries to tell us what the expected sales could be with these advertising costs. So, regression line is telling you the strength and the direction. Here it is positively correlated. Yes or no? As advertisement expenditure goes up, this also goes up. What goes up? Sales also goes up. If this were to come down, sales would also come down. That is how they have this. This, of course, students, this is not a this is not a statement for all business. Depending on the data for a particular business, this is what we have seen. This is what we have seen. It may be totally different for different houses, different business houses. This is a particular individual case in a particular area in a particular organization. That's all. <clears throat> okay.